all right we're back for episode 45 of the let's play series um we do have a slight problem today okay now it's not it's not super bad news but we do have a little bit of unfortunate news now if y'all notice for the people who were in the episode last episode um we ended it in the middle of a random jungle now if you notice we're back at our house. So last episode, we tried to like to recap last episode, we tried to find the trial chambers, which is like a new Minecraft thing and get the mace and some other stuff. Um, but we did not find it. And I ended up looking up some of the stuff on it because um, I said we were basically just going to see if it was even possible to find it in a world that was already there. And sadly, it just isn't possible without having to like cheat hey, and do Kirk, some other how stuff. Are you? How's the fam? Appreciate that. I'm good. I'm good. How are you? So with that said, everything from last episode has basically been voided. So the sad news is Cappuccino, Brownie and our mini pup are no longer with us, which is kind of sucks. But um, yeah. It's not the it's not the worst thing possible, but we just basically can't get the the trial chambers are not possible in a world that was made before that update. So with that said, we're kind of back to the episode before last episode where we were working on getting the shells. And it's not too bad of a thing because I don't think we ended up getting anything like super good last episode besides um, the three new dogs that we tamed. Now, I will say this. It's possible to go back to last episode and still have our puppies. Would y'all prefer to do that and just not do the trials? Have you opened the free discord loot boxes? After you collect all of the prizes, you get free nitro. I have not. I didn't know that. Thank you for letting me know. No, do the trial. The trial is not possible unless we make a brand new world. So basically, that's just not possible across the board. But we are still able to go back to where we left off last episode and just fly home. So what would y'all rather do? Start from here and do what we're going to do this episode or go back to where we left off last episode and just fly home and bring our dogs what y'all think one for stay here two for go get our dogs from the last episode see some ones get the dogs go get the dogs it's about a half it's about half and half Honestly, it's like a 50 50 from what I'm seeing on both TikTok and Twitch. TikTok's pretty much turning to twos now. Shells, we do need the shells. Because we're going to be doing. Um... Yo, Jasmine, appreciate the thousand bits. Appreciate that. That was in chat for Jasmine. My only thing is, it, is it worth the time to get our dogs back from last episode? Jamal with the 100 bits as well. Appreciate that. You could one day make a separate world so we can find one of the trials. I think that is what we will do. I think we'll just have a day where it's a one episode thing and we just do a trial on a new world. Brownie, I know. Um... I'm not sure. I've seen a 50-50 in chat on on the dogs. I feel like that is going to take a little bit of a while. So I think what we're going to I think we're just going to have to chalk it up as last episode being a loss. A poll. We could do a poll. Moz, can we put up a poll for Twitch chat? Um, while we're doing that, though, I think what we're going to do this episode is try to finally get the last four shells. If we don't end up going back and getting the dogs beforehand, um, is try to get the last shells for the conduit. 
if we're not having that much luck there then i think we will do maybe a nether base today and then uh maybe warden if we have enough time the dogs will only exist in that snapshot though true that is true that's the only thing that i'm thinking that's why it's probably best to just leave the dogs in the snapshot but yeah um what would y'all rather do start with this episode try to get the rest of the seashells yo eight appreciate the 500 bits um appreciate that man try to get the seashells first or start doing another base because we have not done another base yet and somebody said that was a pretty cool idea and i feel like it'd be kind of fun to do shells 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 i see majority shells probably about like 60 40 60 70 30 somewhere in there okay all right so let's get the stuff we need to get the shells we're just going to be looking for the um the ruins again now this process has been like this process has been a very difficult process to find the shells so i think we should set a time cap on it this episode i think if we do not get the shells within what y'all think 40 minutes 30 minutes because we don't want it to be we don't want to spend the whole episode looking for shells that's the only thing i don't want to have happen 30 to 40. okay so 30 to 40 we'll spend 30 to 40 looking for shells if we don't find any shells or we don't find the four that we need then we'll just go to the nether base that way we at least attempt to get the shells this episode and we don't spend the whole episode doing shells if we're not having like good luck with it what's good miles when will the last season be um the last episode i want to say is going to be within the next for this series will be within the next like three days or so for sure all right, let's make Hi some guys, fire. remember solar eclipse is April 8th. Oh, I did hear about that. When was the last solar eclipse? I think I I think I remember the last one being like 2016 or something. Or maybe it was a little after that. I don't remember. Okay. Alright, let's put up this sugar cane. 2017? Makes sense. Uh, I don't know if I have a spot for the sugar cane. Let's just move this. And then we'll throw these extra seeds. Boom. All right. So I think we need to go to a brand new area that has an ocean. Cause the drown that I've seen that are spawning, um, at least in the past couple episodes have not been like that many. I want to say we've only seen like a handful of the drowned dudes while looking for the uh, the shells. Fishing for shells is easy. You just have to be very consistent. We've tried fishing and the drown. I feel like the drown is just better in general because we haven't gotten. I want to say we fished maybe. Maybe two three hundred times and haven't gotten a shell yet in total so i just feel like the uh i feel like it's probably better to just look for them i do see our elytra is kind of low so i think we should go repair that first before we fly and uh find a new area appreciate that hydrate Yo, Ruby with the rose and Jess with the rose. Appreciate you. Maybe stay in one spot. I feel bad for suggesting the conduit. I didn't know it was this hard. LOL. Nah, don't feel bad about that. It's a, it's a new thing. At least for me. 
I don't know how many of you guys have done a conduit before, but I don't know if I can say it's worth the time that we're putting into it, but it's still something new that we haven't done. So it's still a W idea nonetheless. All right, let's find some nether warts and then um, we'll head out. I feel like I'm having deja vu right now. Did we fix our Electra at the beginning of last episode? Because I, I really feel like we went directly to this lava pit and then up there. Yeah, nah, that's that's not it, but OK. All right, we'll repair it. We're basically just going to have a little deja vu for the beginning of this episode, and then we'll look for the uh, the shells. We do also, I know a lot of you guys have been saying to make an XP farm. One in the chat if you think we should do an XP farm before the series ends, or two if you think we should save XP farms for the next series. Okay, I'm just seeing like probably about 90% ones. Okay. All right, well then we will do nether base. What's today's goal? Um, today's goal is the conduit. And then we're also going to make a nether base as well. And if we have more time after that, maybe we could start on an XP farm. Only thing with the farms is you have to like watch tutorials on how to make them. Because I don't think you can just make one unless you're just like super knowledgeable about how that stuff works. What about the trial chambers? Uh, we did just go over that at the very beginning of the episode. It isn't possible after looking it up yesterday, after last episode. It's not possible to do in a world that's already been made. So even though we were able to have like see the new dogs and stuff like that, the actual chambers themselves will not be in the world at all. Oh, we have to hold the Electra out. Do you know of any overworld spawners? Um, not exactly sure what you mean by that. Like just, uh, I mean like, like Enderman farms or like sheep farms and stuff like that. Ones that we can make in the overworld. If you learn how to make it now, you'll be more prepared for mod and Minecraft. That's true. That is true. I did just think of something else we could do as well this episode if we have enough time. Somebody mentioned a panda, getting a panda for our, our house. Um, I think last episode and maybe a couple before that. I don't know where you get pandas from, but I feel like that might be kind of fun. So if we do have extra time this episode, we'll look for a panda. Alright, let's see if we can find maybe just a little bit more XP and then we should be we should be good. Find them in the jungle near bamboo. Got you. Okay. I'm guessing there's none near our house then in that jungle area, because I don't think we've seen one over there. So if we do do that, we'll have to go to a like a whole new jungle. All right, let's find just a little bit more quartz. Might be some this way, maybe. There's a little bit down here. This should be good enough too. You can feed them cake and bamboo. There's cake in Minecraft. I know there's, um, what do they call it? Like cookies. I didn't know there was cake, though. Alright, this should be enough here. 
make a copy of your world and then copy see if you can do the locate command i did i did try that so i did actually look the best way i can phrase the whole trial thing is if the only way to put the trials in this world that we've been building it would be having to like completely make the same seed um it's just a really complicated process it is kind of hard to explain because i don't really understand fully what it means but i For think the last we'll just episode, do... make a cake and eat it to celebrate all your success w idea w idea now should we eat the cake if we lose to the warden though eat it regardless or should we only eat the cake if we beat the warden yo uh shaquille appreciate the three finger hearts isaiah appreciate the game controller and sliz appreciate the tiny dining how you get a base like this and not no cake in minecraft uh well this is my first playthrough of minecraft so I've pretty much been learning everything with y'all this entire series. Why make a cake when Crip already got one? All right. Not sure what you mean by that. Um, let's put up this other stuff and then we should be good to go. I think you mean by to add the chambers you'd have to use the same world just for start to the beginning yeah so it would be the same exact world but it wouldn't it wouldn't have everything that we have if that makes sense like it would but it, it's just really confusing to explain from what i read all right but with that said let's go find four seashells actually you know what Let's grab, let's grab some, um, what are they called? Emeralds. Just in case maybe we see a, a wandering villager somewhere. So I think y'all did say the wandering villager sells them, right? You should start posting on Instagram again. Your feed is looking a little out of date. Yeah, I haven't posted on Insta in like, it's been at least a couple years for sure for sure I just don't be flicking up that often if I'm being honest I don't really take too many pictures what's the plan for today uh, we are doing the conduit so we're going to spend about another 25 ish minutes looking for four seashells if we do find them, then we'll start building a conduit. If we don't, then we'll work on making a nether base. Have you found a, uh, what is that? I just missed the chat, ancient city. Uh, we have, we did the ancient city. I wanna see like, we did that on episode like 27 or so. Yo, uh, appreciate the sushi, Isaiah, and Sills with the lightning bolts and tiny dining. Appreciate that. All right, now, do we have to go to a ruin for the drowned dudes? Oh, is that a llama? I don't think we've seen a llama. Hey. Wow, it's weird seeing the llamas without the, um, the stuff on them because i'm pretty sure doesn't the wandering trader llamas have like uh what are they saddles on the back drowns are in any water oh is this an alpaca yo asan appreciate the 90 bits 
You can put carpet on him. Did it? Why y'all want me to hit the llama? Next time y'all ever tell me to hit something that I've never seen before, I'm not doing it. Y'all got it, bro. That's all I needed to see. He wasn't real, D.E. Smiley face. Did smiley it? face. Smiley face. Smiley face. Kissing face. Kissing face. Did it spit at me? Was that spit? Or am I bugging? Wait, is this the village from last episode? I think it is. Oh no, it's not. Never mind. It's a different village. Alright, we do need to find an ocean somewhere. The the drown only come in the oceans or in in lakes, right? It can't be like a little pond. How do you know how to get home? We have a lodestone compass. So it always points back towards our house. Did you heal, help the zombie villager? We have done that. Um, I think we did that like eight episodes ago, eight or nine, something around then. But we do need to find some type of ocean area for the drowned dudes. Yo, Sarius with the resubscription W2 months. Hey, chat. Appreciate that. That was in chat for Sarius. Can the, uh, can the drowned dudes... Can they spawn in this water? Is this deep enough? Let me see if we have a bed. We do not have a bed. Okay, but there is a village over here, so let's just go to the village and snag one of their beds. Or should we stay out during nighttime? I don't know if more spawn during the nighttime. Yo, Boogie with the three stream streak, W3 streams. Does nighttime make a difference? For the, uh, for the drowned or no? Get better fishing luck when it's raining. Yeah. Still though, we've tried, I think we've tried fishing in the rain twice now and we have not gotten a shell. I don't know if it's worth it. And I also don't know if we brought, we did not bring a fishing, fishing rod. I think we left ours back at the house. Mm, I don't see any drawn dudes here. Found you on YouTube and finally found your Twitch. For sure. Appreciate you pulling up to the Twitch. What's good, Crip and Chat? How's your night and how's the family? Good. Appreciate you asking. When does he start the live? Uh, normally, I start the uh, start the live around. Um, I want to say it's closer to 9 p.m. Central Time or 9.30. So right now for me, it's like almost 10 o'clock. I don't know if the... I don't know if the drown dudes will spawn here. What is that in the water over there? Oh, it's a squid spinning. show y'all think we should go somewhere else or just wait to see if the drowns spawn here deeper water yeah, that's what i'm thinking maybe it has to be deeper can the can a drown do yo wsg cryptic can you say happy almost birthday jazza 
Happy almost birthday. Um, is it? Can can they spawn in the snow area or no? Or is it like too cold for them? No. Hmm. All right. Well, it looks like there's some water here. And maybe they can spawn. Yo, Jamal with the hundred bits. That's Joe two zero zero eight five zero captured this. Check out this clip. Just cryptic streaming Minecraft. HTTPS colon slash slash clips dot twitch dot TV slash slippery antediluvian ostrich kapow BT one hundred and forty one udia zeros so. Slippery. Huh? If that's the clip from the llama, I'm not I'm not pulling the clip up right now. I don't even want to re re go through that whole thing with the llama. I think we need deeper water, but we are getting I feel like we're getting pretty far from our house. I don't know. We're actually going back somewhat towards it. Oh, there's a blacksmith here. It might have like some diamonds or something in it. apples and some iron nice all right this water is kind of deep in the middle but i don't know i think we we just need a whole ocean area and i feel like the only ocean that we've really seen is the one by the house but that one doesn't have the uh that one doesn't have the drowned dudes for some reason Sometimes traders have shells. Yeah, I don't know if... Can you, like, see a trader? If you're, like, flying by somewhere, will they, you just be able to see them? Or you have to be standing in an area for a while? Here we go. There's an ocean here. And I think that's a ruin right there, too. Nice. You have to generate them somewhat. Gotcha. Okay, I think this is a. Pretty sure this is a ruin right here. Which means the drowned dude should be over here. And we're looking for four more shells. I don't think we've been here before. Got some leather, some wheat, and some coal. I'll break this. And I think we just have to like wait by the ruins and they'll start showing up. Can you say hi Kovu please? Praying Cheer gesture. 100, you should make a turtle shell helmet. You can swim longer with them. Appreciate the 100 bits Jamal. Uh, what do we need for the turtle shells? We just need to fight the turtles. I'm down to make one. Oh, <gasps> yes, he's holding one. All right, we need three more. Save the turtles. Wait, so you don't have to you don't have to fight the turtles to get a helmet. How do you how do you do it then? Oh, you have You'll to watch breathe. the llama clip if the villagers aren't in a prison. The villagers are not in a prison. It's a community center. Okay, what do we need to breed turtles? What do they eat? Fish. Seagrass? grass. Like this stuff? The kelp? I think I just heard a zombie. Somewhere. It's not kelp, it's seat. Oh, we have to shear. 
We have to shear the, the grass on the ground. Okay, let me see. I think we have a shear. Appreciate that hydrate, by the way. We do not have a shear, but we did get two iron. So we can make shear with that. seagrass that's pretty cool okay let's get some more grass and then we'll make a turtle helmet now i'm confused because correct me if i'm wrong but we're by a ruin right now and there's only been one of the drowned dudes that spawned is that normal I feel like the other ruins we went to, there was at least a couple. Uh, it takes a while for the baby things to hatch, the baby turtles. Okay, let's see. Boom. They're swimming to each other. What happened? I have to follow it. I'm guessing this one's the mother. Hmm? Let me put the seaweed up. Maybe that's making a difference. Turtle on. Basically, the turtles lay eggs, and when they grow up to adult turtles, they drop a green thing used to make the helmet. The eggs take forever to like six to seven Minecraft days. Got you. <gasps> eggs. Let's go. Okay, so six to seven Minecraft days. That means we need we need a bed. We probably should have grabbed one from the uh, from the village we were at. Um. Can we silk touch the eggs and just bring them with us? Oh, you can't sleep. It doesn't let you No. If you silk touch, you can pick up the eggs and bring it home. That way you see when the turtles hatch. I think you can see when y'all start when it's like a 50 50. I don't want to break the eggs and they, they don't come back. I think we'll just hide them so nothing gets to it. Yo, Tanner, appreciate the uh, finger heart. And Danielle, appreciate the bracelet. You can? I was I was crouching. I didn't know you fall. Look, okay, y'all had to understand. Y'all had to understand when you're crouching in Minecraft, you don't go forward. I'm holding my forward key right now. Baby turtle killer. No, that's not the case. I'm holding. Look, see how the screen's moving? That's me moving forward. For some reason, you can walk forward over the eggs it was an accident okay i would never do that to baby turtles that was my fault though all right let's see if the silk touch works that's a very crunchy sound but we got two turtle eggs nice all right, where was that um where was that village at we need a bed from it or at least a couple sheep um i see three right here we can just grab these guys all right 
right, this should be good. And then we just need some wood. And then I think we'll just stay by this ruin. And maybe the um the drowned dudes will come spawn over here. I don't really know if that's how it works or not, but Oh, we had shears. I didn't know we had shears. Rough start. Oh, we need, we, you had to have three eggs. Okay, we'll go breed some more turtles then. All right, let's go get two more turtles. I think these might be the same turtles, maybe. Cheapens turtle killer. The sheep, yes. It wasn't. It wasn't with bad intent, though. I think these turtles are all. Okay, that's a new turtle, and I think there's another one down here. Yo, Sahari with the prime. Appreciate the prime sub. W's in chat for Sahari. Alright, that's two turtles. I don't know if they're too far. Or is this... Let's just bring this turtle near me. And then we can bring it to the other one. Brush the underwater sand for seashells. Does that work or not? Can someone confirm that? Oh, we need to eat. I don't know if these turtles are. I don't know if they're, um, there we go. Ta-da. One XP. You can, okay. All right, we'll try that then, since we're already at um, one of the ruins. I think it's thundering right now. So what happened with the trial chamber? Did you verify that it's on your world? Uh, it is not. Not possible to get it on a world that's already there unless you basically restart that world. So basically we just can't do it during this let's play. But we'll probably do an episode, just a random episode of going to do the chambers. I don't see any suspicious sand here. Maybe I'm just not seeing it. Ah, oh, here we go. What is that? I think that was wheat. Oh, you can do it on regular sand? For the, uh, for the seashells? How many hours do you play? Uh, each episode is probably about two and a half hours, give or take. We also need to go get the eggs over here. Underwater regular sand. Got it. Okay. Something about that sound effect, like being that crunchy, grabbing the egg is a little crazy. Are you guys sure the brush works on sand? On normal sand? You need one more egg? We need five eggs? Or just three? Suspicious? Okay, let's see if there's any suspicious. Don't see any, but we need some oxygen. Also, quick disclaimer, cause I definitely, I definitely hear thunder right now. If stream cuts out for y'all, it's due to the weather. 
hopefully that's not the case um but just in case something happens i'll try to put the stream back up but yeah just a heads up hopefully that doesn't happen though all right let's see if we can find two new turtles to get another egg I'm not sure what be going on with the Electra underwater, but sometimes it what won't. happened last two episodes. I haven't had time to watch them. Um, I'm trying to backtrack because last episode technically isn't there anymore. I think we made the sniffer room for trunks. Also, I don't. Yeah, I don't know why, but it's not letting me fly with the with the electron and we got Bobby there we go all right let's try and find another ruin area because I feel like we were in the water there for at least 10 minutes and only one of those one of the drowned dudes spawn so we might just need to find another area Speaking of which, this might be where we found Bobby at. I think this is Bobby's home. First home. I think you need to reset your world difficulty since the mobs aren't spawning. Switch to peaceful and then back to hard. Y'all think that will work? Or will that mess up like the achievements and stuff? Also, I did see somebody say that we might have a water breathing potion. We do not. Don't do it. April Fool's brushing sand don't work. Is this a rune right here or what is this? It is. Wait, even brushing the ruin sand won't give you the um the seashell or no? I need to drop some of this stuff. Oh, we got some drowned dudes. All right, we need three more seashells. I need the drown dudes to lock in. No seashell. Hey daddy and chat, how we doing tonight? Pause, what's good Ace? We have looting, uh, yeah, we have looting three on our sword, but I don't think it makes a difference with the, um, with the drowned dudes because I'm pretty sure they're just holding it and they don't like drop more basically do you have a seashell sir you do not on a plus side there is a bunch of the drowned dudes here but I think that may be all of them now, I don't see, I don't know if y'all are trolling now. Can we brush suspicious sand and get a seashell? Because I don't know if y'all were talking about the normal sand that you were trolling for or the suspicious. You can't. No, you can't. I feel like that would make sense. If you're gonna brush anything, sand should give you a seashell. Is there um I don't even see a chest here.
Go to the water temple? What water temple? If you go to a sunken ship, you can find shells. I just looked it up. Okay, we can try that too. So far, we are one shell out of maybe like 10 drowned dudes, which is actually pretty good. I can't complain. I don't know how to get this electric to work out the water. We might just have to build up. Feed the dolphin and they'll take you to the sunken ship. What do the, uh, what do the dolphins eat? Cod? Does that have to be raw cod? Oh, here's one right here. I've never, I've never seen a shell in one of these ships before. Out of all the ones that we went to, but. Let's see. Iron, emerald, ice. The uh, person who said that the ships have shells just uh, put in chat April Fools. Alright, we had to stop on a land. I, is this a new sea temple thing? I think this is a new one. It is. So maybe we can find some drowned dudes over here. So I see one right here somewhere. Um, but we do need a couple. I actually looked it up and it says fishing mob drops and trading. Huh, so it can be there. Alright, let's see what we got. No seashell in this dude's hand. No seashell on his hand. Uh, nothing in your hand. Uh, we're like 0 for 6 here. But to be fair, I'm pretty sure y'all said it's like a 2% chance to get these things. shell do see one all the way over here maybe this dude has a shell you are my pookie my only pookie you make me happy when you are streaming so please don't take tts away Pookie. Someone said it means endearment. Alright. Um, what y'all think? Should we do another 10 minutes of looking for shells or should we go to the nether base? Because we did get one. What y'all think? But it has been about 40 minutes of looking for the shells. Nether base. Ten minutes. Oh, we do have to make the turtle thing. We need um we need another turtle egg. We'll stop somewhere. If we see a turtle on the way, we'll uh get another turtle egg while we're headed back. So I think we're like two thousand blocks away from the house. Fishing? I'm so half and half on the fishing because we fished at least at a bare minimum 200 times. Don't listen to everything you hear. Just read the signs in between the lines. For show. Sure. 
last 10 minutes fishing. Not in warm water. Luck of the sea rod. We've tried it. Um, for those of you who've been in the series the past, I want to say six or seven episodes, four of them have been spent looking for this, uh, for the shells. We tried the luck of the sea thing with like luck of the sea three. We tried just doing a drown. The shells are just really hard to get, but we only need three more. They aren't to be honest well maybe it's just unlucky then probably because we're actively trying to get them that's my guess do a rod with only luck at the sea we did have one i had luck at the sea three and we ended up getting zero zero of the uh seashells all right this should be our house here because the beacon's right there you should just fish off cam for like an hour and see if you get some that's not a bad idea that's not a terrible idea and then if I do get them, then we just build the, the conduit next episode. What y'all think? How'd you get the egg? Uh, we just got it from breeding turtles. But we need one more egg in order to make a turtle helmet. Yeah, I think we should just do that then. I genuinely don't know how long it will take to get the, the remaining three that we need, but I prefer to not spend multiple episodes um, stuck on getting seashells. The odds of receiving a shell. What is that on out? the side of the mountain? The cobblestone stairs. I haven't been on in a while. Uh, That's Trunk's new area. I'll show that really quick once I put this stuff up. And put the bed up. Boom. This. Uh, we can put these tools in our toolbox. And then iron can go in here. We have some wheat and some apples. I think that's pretty much everything. Where do we get this bow from? I don't remember getting that bow. All right, let's take this out, put the shells in, put the, put that there. Okay. Go build nether base and turtle eggs, pook, pook. We need one more turtle, turtle egg, I think. Uh, let's throw this random stuff in here. We don't need the moss. Um, we don't need the bow. We don't really need this bow. It's pretty low anyways. And then we have to put up the emeralds. Wait, if we put the turtle eggs down, couldn't we just breed the turtles or is it better to just go get another egg from a random turtle to get the last egg that we need? You have to wait for them to grow. Make an auto fisher and then just AFK off stream. That's not a bad idea too. Is that is that a hard thing to do? An auto fisher? All right, let's do this. We'll go get one more, one more turtle egg, and then we'll start doing another base. Pick a random person for a sub, please. Somebody in chat type peanut butter. Eight 
in Twitch chat. Alright, um, Zora Gaming, one to one. If you want a gift to somebody, do it to Zora. That was the first person I seen that put peanut butter. Are right, we still need, we need the, tur oh, here's two turtles. Nice. Oh, uh, we put our sea moss up. We can just grab some more. Yo, cruise with the gifted. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. W's in shop. Cruise with the gifted. Does uh, does the silk pickaxe work for getting uh, the grass? I don't think it's actually breaking grass pieces right now. Or like making it turn into the grass stuff. Sea grass. Are you on Twitch? I used to watch you years ago. Uh, yeah, we're live on Twitch as well. The username is at the top of the gameplay if you're on uh, TikTok. Alright, we'll use a shear and hopefully get the... Get the grass. I don't think the soap pickaxe works. That should be enough. I think we just need a couple. Oh, it's a drowned dude. I think I just heard a trident guy as well. Let's do boom and bam. Also, for whoever sent that hydrate, like the other one, like 10 minutes ago or so, I got you. And Brooke with the hydrate as well. You should put respiration on your armor so you can breathe for longer. Uh, we do have it on... Oh, we actually don't have that. We have Aqua Affinity. So maybe we can't get that. I think this turtle is laying eggs. I'm not entirely sure. How often do you stream? Um, pretty much every single day. What is this? Mushroom stem. Oh, I think we did get one of these before. Can't let that slide. Oh, he gave us a trident. Nice. So, can the turtle only lay eggs on sand? Because I think it was trying to lay eggs on the dirt, but it wasn't working. Hey, more eggs. We got three more eggs. very crunchy sound something about that just doesn't sit right with me all right let's take these back to the house and then we'll just put like um do y'all think we should put the turtles in the nether while we're making the base because if we put them over here in the overworld while we're making the nether base is um I don't think they'll grow. No. Oh, also for the person who asked what this was, this is Trunk's new area. So we made like a little staircase up to this area, which has Trunks and Bobby and also Mr. Whiskers. Speaking of which, we need to share some of these. OK, 
Okay, that should that should be good. Um, they should leave them in the overworld. Oh, they'll still they'll still keep growing as long as we're even if we're in the Nether. That place looks nice. Thank you. Okay. Um, let's put the other eggs together. Yeah, I think y'all said we need five. And some sand. Um, why don't we just make a little area down here for the turtles on the side? Just something small. Maybe like... Um, I don't know if we'll have enough blocks of sand for this. We need like dirt blocks or something else to put under it. That TTS didn't go through. It might be bugged out now. A turtle cave? Turtle cave. I mean, we could just put a little cave right here. Just a tiny one. I don't think we have space really anywhere else to put it. I think my mouse just turned off. There we go. All right, so let's just make, we'll do like a little tiny cave for the turtles, like here. And then we gotta make it sand. We'll just switch these out. Make sure they can't escape. What, um, do they normally just try to book it? Once they, once they grow up, they just try and dip out. We do need a little bit more sand. Um, let's grab some from over here. I think there's some over here. This should be good. They do leave when they grow up. Got you. Oh, they head for the water. Like IRO when turtles grow up. Got you. All right, that should be enough sand for sure. Um, let's throw a little bit of dirt in here just to make it look not as crazy. And we can just put cobblestone for now. Probably have to come back and fix this. Put something here so it don't look like we just messed it up. All right. Is the realm, the realm's down? You play with mods and shaders? I have not this entire Let's Play series, but I did actually see what shaders look like for the first time, maybe like a week ago. And they look pretty cool. So I'm thinking once this series is done, we'll do like, um, after we beat the, the warden, we'll do a like a walkthrough of our entire our entire base and stuff with the shader on. I feel like that'll be kind of cool. All right, that should be good. Let's do maybe one more here. And then let's make this a little bit deeper. I have a little bit bigger of an area. Y'all think the area should be big for the turtles? I've never had a turtle spot, so I don't really know personally. Yes. They need the sun. Um, I don't know. Here's the only thing, though. I don't know if this is going to break into our house. 
That's the part I'm kind of concerned on. This could end up like going into one of our rooms that we have in our house. We have any, we don't have any coal, do we? Probably gonna need torches in here. I'm thinking we do the outside look small and then like a bigger inner side cave. So when you go by it, it looks like this little tiny pocket and then you walk in and it's like huge ish. Uh, what are your plans for April 20th? Um, not entirely sure. Um, do we have, we have torches at the house. Let's go get those really quick. Wait, I do have torches. Thank you. Appreciate y'all. break this and then we'll just light this up for now so i don't think it needs to be huge in here but as long as it looks like a cave like gives off a decent sized cave for the turtles i feel like it'll be good i'm thinking we do like a like a dome-ish type look I'm thinking like one of these sides, like right here, it kind of arches over into a, a dome or something. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, and then maybe a little bit taller than this. Should do a cute pond in the middle. What's good, scum? What y'all think bigger than this? This is pretty small. This is like, this is like enough to fit two turtles. I think they need probably trip double the size of this as far as like the area inside. But y'all saying they do need, they do 100% need sunlight or just torches work? Just water. Okay, that should be good. Boom. And we can do like a half, half sand, half stone type thing. Trying to make this look like a cave. I feel like that looks okay. And then maybe a thing right here. And then we could do maybe like this area is a pond. So that'll go down into this. And then this can go out like, like that maybe. Boom. They hatch faster with no light and they only hatch at night. Huh. Yo, Jamal with the hundred bits. Chris, is this an incubator or another prison? Uh this is an incubator. This is where we're having our baby turtles grow up. It's definitely not a prison. I think we'll let them go once we get the uh, the helmet. I can't tell if this is flat or not. 
I think it is. Any more water, maybe? Okay, I'm thinking we raise this one up just one more. you need to pack them up to get the helmet we do yo cosmic appreciate the uh necklace and logan i appreciate the rose all right i'm thinking we do one more deeper over here so there's like a little trail around the the pond maybe that'll i think that works and then this can go up one so we kind of see the top up here I think this is this is okay it's got kind of the cave look to it it's not too big and the turtles have a little area to grow in so what do we we just put them on the sand and let them grow or is there anything else they need more water just let them grow okay Bam, turtle eggs. What else could we put in here? And I think y'all said they had to have no light, right? Oh, we need to block the front off, huh? We'll just do this for now until we get uh, some fences, just in case they grow really quick. Seaweed and glow bear. Oh, seaweed. W idea. Can we put a seagrass on this? I think we have to bone meal it, maybe. It needs some light so mobs don't spawn. Oh, that is true, huh? Alright, there we go. And then what do we need for the, uh, I think this bone meal makes the grass come out, right? Maybe we could put a glow berry in there. Um, what else would look good in there with the turtles? Oh, some dripstone. Yeah, we could do some dripstone in a cave. Pickles, we got some pickles. Oh, uh, seagrass has to be underwater. Uh, coral. We do have coral. Somewhere. I actually don't remember where the coral is at all. But we have some. I think it's in our wool, maybe? Or... Here it is. Uh, let's do, like... We can do some blue coral and some bubble coral and then fences do y'all think we should do bamboo fence for the front of the the turtle area or what kind of fence dark fence bamboo wait the coral has to be in the water too That coral is gone for good. We now have a packed up coral block. Okay. Um, 
Well, we can put it in the water, under the water, maybe. I think the majority of y'all said bamboo fence. Um, what do we need for that? Sticks, though? Appreciate that, Hydrant. Wait. Somebody just said I packed up three innocent creatures. This may be a one IQ question, but are, is Coral alive? If it is, I never knew that. It is? Oh, so it's like a tree. So it's like underwater trees. Because trees are alive too, right? Basically, exactly. Okay, so it's an underwater tree. Got it. Got it. Uh, what else? I think we need we need sticks. Boom. Twelve should be enough. I think that's all we can make. Hopefully, that's enough. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Nice. Actually, I think it's less than that. Hmm. We'll expand this out one more. It's too, it's too close. Now, somebody said the zombies go after the eggs. Will, like, if, say there's a zombie walking by, is it going to blatantly target eggs as if they were a human Minecraft person? Or no? Yes? What? Boom. That's better. All right, let's put, make this one more deep. Then we can put a couple coral in here. Just give it some color. Bang. Maybe make it look like it's in the ground. Some coral down there. should go grab the other colors too we could put sand down here too we just need a couple more pieces so that way we can put the what's it called um the seagrass down there pickles yeah let's do okay let me get some more sand and then we'll put the grass and some pickles I think that should look good. Okay. For some reason, I did not think that was going to happen. Boom. We need these back. Oh, the drowned dudes are back. That's actually good. I think that one was holding a, a fishing rod or something. Sea lantern. We could put a sea lantern in there for light. I like that idea. Instead of a torch. Um, How do we get back in here though? some sand in there that should be good and then we'll do one bone meal blam 
Maybe get rid of the tall ones. That one might be okay over there. And then some sea pickles. Ta-da! I think we get maybe a yellow coral. And then that should be a little nice pond for the turtles. Uh, what was the other thing we got? Oh, the dripstone stuff. Wait, if we put, um, how do you make the bigger dripstones? Never mind. Maybe a big one here. That's too big. I don't want to like overdo it with them. We just want to give it somewhat of a cave look. Maybe one like here. And then uh, thinking one here. That looks good to me. We did get a, uh, what are they called? Glow berries. We could throw maybe one glow berry in here. One or two. Cause I feel like we do have a lot of glow berry in our, uh, in our house, like in our base in total. What's the difference between bedrock and Java? To my understanding, what I've got from chat is that bedrock is the better gaming experience, but Java lets you do mods in a nutshell. I don't know how true that is, but that's kind of what I've gotten from what Chad has said. Uh, let's do one more here. Boom. I'm trying to decide if we should open this up one more. I feel like when it's low like that, it gives it a kind of secluded look. Yeah, I feel like it's definitely better with it low. All right, is there anything else in here that might be kind of cool to add for the turtles? Frog light. Dripstone on the bottom. Oh, they can point up, can't they? That should be good. Let's just do one. Jamal with the 35 bits. Appreciate it, man. This is not a prison. This is a nice little area for the turtles. Sea lantern. I think we do have one. Let's see if we do. Uh, fireworks. We have a frog light. I thought we had sea lanterns. Can we make... Oh, no, we do have them. I was going to say, can you make the sea lanterns from these crystal things or no? Yeah. Dripstone pointed up will hurt the turt. Oh, it hurts the tur turtles, not toitles. Uh, coral, good catch. Whoever said coral in chat, thank you. Get some yellow coral. Not the whole chat spamming totals, no. All right, let's see. Um, yellow. Throw some yellow in here, maybe like here and here. 
And then we can do, we can break this one. On a second thought, I don't like these being like synchronized like that. Makes them look too, uh, what's the word? Too symmetrical. We could just get rid of this one, though, and then put put it down here. Bam. Then we got bone meal this again. I think I put the bone meal up. Oh, no, I didn't. Uh oh, I didn't think it went over the other grass. How do I get the tiny grass? I think that's fine. That's okay. How's your day been? It's been decent. Appreciate you asking. Uh, the frog light. We have a frog light. We could put... Uh, Okay. Yeah, honestly, that one, that that's just tough. I'm not even gonna lie. That was next. <laughs> but the crunch, the crunch sound effect scared me. For some reason, I was not expecting to walk backwards and hear a Kit Kat break. Um... Maybe I should have put a fence around our eggs. Do we need to get more eggs now? Or we have some actually. I think we only lost one baby turtle. RIP that baby turtle. Okay, we have, uh, we have another egg. Sugar cane. That's a good idea. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm not even going to say nothing. Maybe that was just get back for the turtles. That's only fair. Am I okay, but am I tripping or like, how do we have netherite armor on and we're getting four tap from a drowned dude? That, that trident is just extremely strong. Oh, we had the Electra on. Got you. Alright, well. We're going to spin back for that. Hopefully, our loot isn't just floating in the water. I think maybe some of it might be halfway up in our uh, house all over the place somebody came in the chat um, yesterday in the last episode and said have you ever gotten packed up because I've never seen it in all the episodes I've been in and um, of course that's what happens there packed up by um, by the one thing that we've been trying to get which is the drowned dudes. 
Also, I don't know why. I guess we didn't have our spawn set, and that's why we our stuff like dropped over here. So we definitely do need to reset the spawn in our bed. But let's make sure we're not missing anything. Um, we have our Letra. We're missing our pickaxe, I think. We're missing Picky. There's Picky. Boom. Our inventory was full. So something's missing for sure. At least one thing. Our bow. Good eyes. Um, it's on the couch. Oh, I didn't see it. Thank you. I think that's everything. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's everything that we had in our inventory. Mm, no, it's not. We're missing one thing because we didn't. Our inventory was too full to hold a uh, sugar cane, so there's something missing. It's one thing though. Set the respawn, thank you. The brush? I don't I don't think the brush was in our inventory, was it? As long as we're not missing something important, it's fine. We have our pickaxe, sword, bemo, gunther, silky, electra, and armor. And emeralds. I think we got everything that we needed. Are you streaming on Twitch too? Yeah, we are live on Twitch and TikTok. So if you if you want like the widescreen view instead of the vertical, feel free to come over to uh, Twitch. Uh, we do have the white shulker. Give me just one second, and then we're gonna go put the. Um, the egg back in the thing. Give me just one second, chat. them always always I think were we holding I think it was bread were we holding bread BBL go cr I do not have a BBL that is a crazy statement Was bread okay all right let me see i didn't i didn't see bread anywhere though maybe it fell in the water i'm pretty sure it like floats up right definitely don't want to lose all of our bread oh 
Well, could it have burned in the campfire? Is that possible? Because I know our, we hit, we got hit here and all the loot went everywhere. It is possible. Mm. Let me look down here one more time. Just see. It's all good. We can always make some more bread. Um, so I think what we were doing before that happened was getting sugar cane. I also think um, somebody in chat said put a fence gate. We probably should do that so we don't have to block out. Be a good idea. I'm going to not touch the eggs this time. I think where we could put this because I'm pretty sure the the sugar cane has to be by water, right? Which means I don't even think we could place any. Unless we put some water. Oh, I have an idea. What if we put... Oh, our bucket's gone. Wait, never mind. What if we do this? And then cover it. Will that work? Oh. Okay, okay. Do that over here, too. I feel like this is enough, enough stuff in here. And then we still have the frog light. I think we put the frog light like right here, maybe. Just to add something in here. What y'all think? For a little 40 minute, 40 minute small build for the turtles. I feel like this looks pretty good. Behind the waterfall. That's actually a good idea too, but we don't only have one of these. Oh yeah, the bottom dripstone. Thank you for reminding me. Mobs can fall into it. Um, and we could cover it. Only question is how are we. If we cover, I feel like it loses its like cave look, like the seclusion. But that might that might work actually. Let me see. Yo, Billy with the prawn sub. Appreciate that, Billy. W's in chat for Billy. If you use a lot of sugarcane, you should make a sugarcane auto farm. Uh, we definitely. I feel like a sugarcane farm would be helpful too, because we kind of do be running out of the sugarcane sometimes, but. Get a little bit of the dirt here. And then we'll block this off. Let's just see what it looks like if we put like an overpass. So that way they can't fall into it. Frog light in ceiling over the pond. All right, let's see what y'all think looks better. Mentally note this. This is the frog light. On the right. Or. And we only have one of them though. Like right here. Or at the top. Oh, we do have the sea lanterns. True. True, we do have the sea lanterns. I see majority top. We can put the... I feel like the sea lanterns can go back here. Who 
Oops. Alright, we need to fix that. about having those right there actually I feel like it makes it look a little unnatural like it doesn't look like an actual um, like waterfall we could just put it on the right wall where the other one was put sea lanterns in the place of the frog light Yeah, drop something here. Uh, let's drop that. Boom. And then we could put the frog light back where it was. Don't step on the eggs. <laughs> We're not gonna step on the eggs. I think that looks good. Um, I don't know though. I feel like two different colored lights though. I kind of like having a light in this wall though. Let me see. All right. One in the chat if you like the two top lights with the sea lanterns. Two in the chat if you like the one frog light on the right. I think it's either one or the other. Both of them kind of don't mesh that well together. See, I see a lot of twos. a couple ones as well i want to say it's like 60 40 on twos now i'm seeing ones frog light in the ceiling did we have the frog light up there i don't know if we tried that i actually don't remember if we put that there I think the side, personally, I think the side looks the best. I don't know why. I like the way it just like comes out the wall. Cause it's like, it's ambient lighting, lighting, if that makes sense. Instead of it being like a hard light at the top, it's like one little spot radiates out I think it looks good like that okay um let's do I did say the stuff the mobs can fall on top of this so maybe we need like an overpass here I don't know if we should make that out of dirt or dirt or stone or what Probably a mix of both. I feel like this is okay. We just need to make it look like it's part of the actual, um, part of the actual mountain. actually terrified of the drowned dudes now after the uh one that had the, the trident that dude is super strong add fish to the waterfall we could add some fish i don't think we have any right now though but that's a good idea um if you plan on making the walls more of a tan color i think frog light but if you plan on making the walls blue then blue lights to match the theme that you got 
I think the walls are just gonna stay stone. Just so it looks like kind of a cave. Because it's, it's just a turtle cave. I don't think we're gonna switch the walls to anything on the inside. Or do y'all think there's something that could look cool in there for the walls? I actually don't remember what I came up here for. I'm blinking. Sandstone? Sandstone it could be kind of cool. That could be a nice wall. Oh, I know what it was. Um, I was going to see if we can make stone into the stairs. We can. Let's just see. I'm going to grab a couple pieces of some stuff. Just to see what it looks like. Now, what do I need for, um, what is it called? The, the fence gate. What do you need for a fence gate? Just like multiple fences? Or is it the same thing, like sticks and the other thing? We need to put some stuff up too. We can stack the stone bricks. Oh, thank you. And then let's put up anything that we're not using right now because inventory is kind of crazy. We need dirt. We might need cobblestone. Um, let's put the sea lanterns up. Dripstone we can put up. Boom. I think the rest of this we're going to use. Lily pads. Lily pads. We need lily pads all over our um, our house in different areas but we just don't have any extra lily pads right now but that is a w idea oh, the trident we got two tridents i think that's everything that we can put up for now we need a fence gate but i don't think we have any other bamboo as well or enough to make um the fence gate out of Oh yeah, coral, thank you. Vines, vines could look nice. I don't know if we have any, we would have to go grab some. Yeah, we'd have to grab some, I don't see any. All right, that should be good. Wait, there's lily pads in the, in the chest? Oh, you mean the drip leaf? I guess the drip leaf works as a lily pad, right? It's like the same thing. We could try it. Uh, I might be super late to this, but DJT appreciate the heart me and Omar appreciate the roses. Let's see. We'll throw this in here. Like, how do we put it down? Huh? It won't let me place it. Oh, you need moss? You can only place those in shallow water. That's weird. Okay. All right. I just want to see what this looks like in the front. I think it looks good. It makes it like wrap down. Like it's like the cave, it goes into it and then flows out of it. 
Yeah, that looks good. Um, I don't know about these other pieces though. I kind of just picked these up just to see what they would look like. Hmm. Okay, ignore this for now. Ignore that for now. Y'all did say, oh my gosh. Y'all did say sandstone could look cool in here. So let me try that without stepping on the on the shells. Hmm. What if we do the whole area that this touches as the sandstone stuff where the walls are? I think it adds to it a little bit. What y'all think? Stone looks better. Too much sand. Maybe just that spot. Yeah, I'm not saying the whole thing. I, I think that we keep the stone area. This area is, I think this area is good. I'm saying right here though. These blocks gotta change though. Um, I think it looks good here just for a little extra texture in the room. What is, what is thing row if there's something above it? The uh, sugar cane? might just keep this as it was with the stone but just just to see how it looks I think this hat this would have to be it as well if we were going to do that So then at least from the front, it all looks the same. And then you walk in and then it turns to stone. All of it is stone bricks. I think, I think it honestly, I think the normal stone look better here, just cause it looks more natural. Personally, but it doesn't hurt to try things. Uh, I do need some more stone and then we also need to fix the top part of this. Block this off, boom. The mossy stone would look good. Mossy stone could look good in here. All right, let's get a little bit of stone and a little bit of dirt. And that should be good on the area for now. Keep in mind, it's just a small place for the turtles, so it doesn't need to be like extravagant, you know? I think it looks pretty good for what it for what it already looks like currently, personally. 
we should create a realm uh i do have a server for chat there's two there's a subscriber realm slash server and then there's a a public one for anyone to join um but that one's not moderated so if people steal your stuff in it there's nothing i can do for you in that one but yeah if you do want to join any of those servers either one of them the sub one you just got to be a subscriber on twitch or the open one you just have to come to twitch and then do exclamation point java craft in the chat and it'll give you a link to the discord where you can join it all right let's see got some more dirts let's fix the top part and then we'll fix the inside i just need this to look like it's part of the mountain gives it a it's a little trying like i don't know how i feel with it being like triangle ish i think it might have looked better when it just poked out i'm not really trying to make it look like a triangle but that's just kind of what's happening right now some more sand here boom bam and then i think this is okay um the front's a little wonky but maybe it'll look better once the actual grass grows in on it because the front piece is missing like the little grass part at the top but um, let me put, let's fix the thing in here, the walls. I'm gonna try not to step on the eggs. Appreciate the hydrant. Now do y'all think we should leave the leave the front flat or with the stairs? Did you find a chamber? Uh, no, we did not. The chamber is actually not possible. Stairs. I think this actually should go like this. I think this should be dirt. So it like gradually goes into it. Same thing on this side. I also just realized this is uneven, which is fine, but um, okay. I think that's okay. It's like a little overpass, so things don't fall into it. It's a bit wonky, but that's kind of the look we're going for. It's supposed to look like it's kind of out of the cave. Break the pillars. What pillars? Oh, here's this one. All right. Cool beans. I think this is good. 
I don't spend too much time because then it's going to get like one of those things where the longer you look at it, the more you want to change certain things. But I think it I think it turned out pretty good for some turtles. We weren't even planning on doing this this episode. So we'll let the turtles do their thing. We still need to make a gate here at some point. Um, yeah. I think it's a nice little addition to the house. So with that being said, we still have um, the nether base, which we were going to do this episode. So let's get the stuff ready for that. Now, I have no idea what a cool nether base would look like, and I've never made one. But I feel like we could saw something up. So let's just see what we can do. The turtles need direct sunlight in order to hatch. I don't know. Is that is that true or not? Because y'all said some of y'all said it is and then some of y'all said it's not. I'm not sure which one it is. I also don't know why the drip leaf didn't work. They don't. They don't. I just looked it up. Okay. Thank you. All right, we should have everything here. Let's bring, let's bring a shulker that's full of our netherrack. That way we can make some of the nether stone stuff if we need to without having to go get a bunch. What do y'all think would look good though in the in the nether as far as the like block that we make the base out of. You think we should just stick with the actual nether stuff or try some other stuff? Do you need the clay? Where did we get clay from? non-flammable blocks oh quartz that's a w idea we have a ton of quartz i like that idea because we haven't done anything with our quartz really i'll put this in another shulker let's put it in our ores put all this I can use the stone cutter to make smooth cords. Huh? Add nether bricks and the bastion black bricks. We do have black stone. We could try that. Smooth cords. I'm not seeing that, but I do see the, the bricks. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's make a stack of pillars, a stack of bricks, and then a stack of chisel brick stuff, and some stairs, and then the other thing, which is slabs. That should be good, so that way we can try different things out. Deep slate. I think deep slate would look pretty cool in another. Like that idea. Uh, we do have a little bit of it. Nice. Okay. Normal deep slate or like deep slate tiles. Did you find all the shells for the conduit? Uh, we did not. We found one shell, but we didn't want to spend the whole episode just looking for shells on the off chance we didn't find all the shells. Let's do a stack of... One stack of bricks and a half a stack of tiles. Right, can we do anything with this? 
Oh, this is how you make the bastion stuff. The, um... The polish things. Alright. Basalt. I don't think we can do anything with that. That should be good. Alright. I think let's just send it with the stuff we got. And see what we can cook. Y'all think it should be connected to our home portal or somewhere else oh we forgot the ender chest thank you for reminding me do i speak indo i do not connect it or near it we could make it i have an idea we could make it near our, our portal, but not like right next to it. House tour. Uh, we might do a house tour in a little bit. Um, we did do one at the very beginning of last episode. So for anyone who wants to see it like right now. If you, if you just go to the last episode, do exclamation point let's play in Twitch chat. Um, it'll put a link to the last episode. And I'm pretty sure we did it like within the first 10 minutes of last episode. But we might do one. A little bit. I'm thinking we either do the base over here somewhere. Because this area is pretty open. Maybe like here. Let me see. Oh, let's grab a totem just in case. What's good, Sheiks? Making another base? Yeah, we are starting another base. I'm thinking right here it could be cool. It's a pretty big open area. Um, and it's near, it's near some of this tree stuff. I don't think there's any soul sand nearby, which is fine because we don't really want skeletons all over the place. Connect your train into the base and use it when you come through the portal. I like that idea. Okay. What y'all think? Base here? In this area, or expand this out a little bit and do it here. First area or over here. That way it's not too far from our home portal. Second area. First area. Second, second gives us a little bit more area to like be creative with and expand it. This area we're probably gonna build into like break out the walls or something. Higher ground is better. All right, let's see. Let's light this area up a little bit. I think we'll just do it here and then we can like expand down and stuff if we want to okay um we need a platform so let's make this all the same level gotta be careful to not hit one of those pigs on accident Probably make it a little bit bigger too. Yo, uh, Ethan, appreciate the roses, and Emma, I appreciate the roses as well. You have an end base? I do not. Closer to portal, 
higher ground and can connect to roller coaster. True. Do you play any mobile games? Uh, not really. I had a period where I played like, what is that one game? It's not Clash of Clans. I used to play that when I was younger, um, but I think it's called Clash Royale or something. I had like a two week period of playing that. I was a little bit locked in on it, but I don't really play uh, that many mobile games. Uh, most of the stuff I play is on PC and whatnot. Yo, proud cat owner, appreciate the rose. And Cam Cameron, I appreciate the tiny diny. Let's see, fill this up. Yeah, I think there's a big enough area for uh, the start of the base. It's pretty long. It's not like, um, it's like a rectangle area. Clash of Clans is better. I did, I was um, pretty heavily into Clash of Clans when I was like, burst out way back right, let's expand this maybe give it a little bit of shape well, it's not as rectangly and that should be uh oh oh no Okay, that's a slight problem. Need a couple more blocks here. And fix that. I don't think we're gonna make the floors the netherrack stuff though. I think we'll make it as something else, but we just need like a a base. Um, to put the floor on top of, if that makes sense. Three more pieces. Use stone, it won't get blown up. I think we did, yeah, we got a bunch of black stone that we brought. And then we have a ton of cobblestone at the house too. Oh, I'm tripping. Yeah, you, you're you right. Bro said you have netherrack. You are 100% right. Thank you for reminding me. Okay. Um, let's see. What blocks do we bring down here? There's another one. Okay, we got quartz, deep slate, blackstone. What do y'all think would be the floor? Should it be the quartz or the deep slate stuff? Like a lighter or a darker color? Why are there so many of these things? Do you play Fortnite? Um, sometimes I haven't played it in, I want to say at least like two or three months. I haven't played it since they updated it last. Darker. All right, let's see what the, let's see what the Blackstone looks like. I definitely don't think we're going to have enough to, to fill this up for sure. All right, we're going to need a lot of blocks for this. let your chest get blown up oh is that that can happen all right now i'm pretty sure this stuff does not blow up i'm pretty sure because when we did the tnt looking for the 
the cinnamon rolls, it was like stronger against the TNT. Alright, we got a little bit. We might have enough to do the whole floor of this area. I think it's going to end up being bigger than this though, because this is pretty small. Deep slate break would be fire. I think we did bring some of that too. What are you building? Oh, we're making a nether base. Hmm. I just didn't want this to be as rectangly. Um, let's just cut this off. And we can fill that in. And then maybe we can do something like this. Give it some shape. How do you keep these guys from being over here? Is there like any way to stop that? very wonky looking shape but I think it's gonna go I think it's gonna expand back this way I think this will be the front and then it'll go back that way give or take oops but we're definitely gonna need some more of the blackstone stuff because we don't have enough to really make anything out of this right now um i'm thinking we could do the bricks as like pillars the in-between spots bts isn't working oh uh, yeah it's been bugged out this episode for some reason If we have enough pillars for this part. Thank you for reminding me to eat. All right, that should be good. We'll just try doing that, and then do some on the ends over here. Maybe one here. I think we're going to fill it in with some other type of block. Uh, watch a YouTuber. He builds a lot of buildings. You can get some inspiration for some things. True, true. I think everything that we've built so far in this Let's Play hasn't been like inspired by anything, which I feel like that's what makes it look... Um, that's what gives it some spark, you know? is kind of just made up from creativity uh, what type of camera do you have it is a Sony a6400 I believe now, I don't know what type of block to put in between this though I feel like the white I mean, that's not actually, that's not that bad, the contrast. Mm, that's not bad. Let's just see, let's see what this does. Or like the starting front area. Oh, does quartz blow up? Uh, hmm. 
Or then maybe we use it on the inside somewhere and not the outside. I mean, the only thing that's really going to be trying to blow stuff up would be the gas, right? The only thing is, I feel like this is just... It's just really dark if we only do dark breaks. It doesn't have really... Um, it's just very, like, gothic, you know? I don't know how else to phrase that. But maybe if we put some nether bricks in it or something, then that might add to it. White's better. Yeah, I think the white definitely looks good. I like the black and white contrast. For sure. Um, Let's see. What about white, black... And nether brick on the top, like a. Uh, hmm. I have an idea, but we need a bunch of nether brick stuff. Yeah, W5 Street, Street Caroline, W5. What if we do. I feel like it should match the, the area though. Like if we do too much other stuff, bricks that aren't from the nether, then it's gonna look kind of weird. Side gray on top. Oh, it's like the top ceiling area. That could look good. I'm trying to figure out how to expand this, though. I think we might just use quartz since we have a ton of it. I know this is going to look really weird, but it's kind of hard to get a gist for, like, what this is going to look like if we don't have enough blocks right now. I guess I could technically just use the, the nether stuff that we had. I just don't want it to blow up is from the nether to be honest and it looks nice in a contrast to the darkness of the nether i agree okay let's just let's just keep expanding this out And then, as always, with every single one of these builds, they always look crazy when we first start them, and they always end up looking good by the time we get to a point where it looks somewhat finished. So, this episode is probably going to look very crazy. Ooh, I hope I don't hit a pig. Let's fill all this in. You make a beacon in the nether? Is that possible? Endstone? Endstone could be different. Alright, we need some more torches. Light this up. I do feel like building stuff into, like when we built the house originally, um, the one that's in the overworld, we built it out of the mountain. I almost feel like building stuff out of something that's already there is a little bit easier than building something where nothing's there. Cause it's like you get to use the, um, what is that called? What is that called in painting um, the, the dark noise I don't know what it's called I forget the term but instead of using the thing that's there use the thing that's not there negative space yeah negative space 
I feel like when you build it out of stuff and you have that negative space, it gives you a nice little thing to be able to see what you can do with it, you know? I definitely feel like this should be good enough for a starting size. I just heard a pig. You have a lot more space to build too. True. Yeah, we can build this all the way over here or something if we want to. Yo, Daisy, appreciate the uh, bear. Nicholas, I appreciate the roses. And also, thank you for the lightning bolts, Daisy. these little pieces hazy with the 30 stream streak w30 is there a use of another base uh not really because i mean we've already done all the stuff in the nether that we need to i think what it is is one we've never done another base so it's a cool idea and two chat i think y'all just don't want the uh some of y'all don't want the, the series to end, so y'all just coming up with interesting things to do. Or just like random fun ideas. And rods for lights. I like that idea. I think that is a W idea. Also, this uh, this base can go down too. This could be like we can have like a staircase go down into this area. That'd be kind of cool. Another base before a dog and cat build is crazy. I mean, our animals have a place to stay at, but it's not like their own designated spot, you know? I think it's crazy that we gave the turtles a place before the uh, dogs that have been here since episode three, personally, but maybe we'll make a, an area for them. All right, we're almost done with this. Okay. I think that's probably big enough. Um, now we we don't have enough blocks. If I'm being honest, I feel like quartz is the only thing we have enough blocks of to do anything with, besides the nether rack stuff, which you'd have to cook all of it. Um, what does this chisel stuff look like? That's kind of nice. Hmm, how does it look across? You gotta add your bed now. I don't think we'll be putting a a bed into this into this base. That's kind of cool. I've never seen this stuff. Alright, let's throw some more light in here too, because it's kind of dark. Quartz floors. That is probably the only thing I'm like partially opposed to. I feel like just fully white floors is is not it. Even though that's the thing we have the most of. Um, let's see. Oh, not this brick. We need the normal quartz. Are you going to have to break everything you just did to put in the actual floors? Um, Yeah, but these things are really easy to break, though. Or we'll just make it go up a level. Like, uh, stagger it. Kind of like a staircase up. One and two. If 
For the big quartz wall, you should try to place all the pillars vertical or horizontal. Good idea. I don't know if we should use this stuff on the outside. Um, just a normal block. I feel like it's just... The normal quartz block is very blocky, like the, the indents on it. You know what I mean? Like it looks like a chocolate bar or something. That's the only thing keeping me from wanting to do that as the as the wall to take up some space. Piglin prison build goes crazy. This is not a prison. I don't think we'll be putting any mobs in here. Do smooth cores? Let me see. Uh, cores, and then we need we need a bucket. With some lava. I don't think I can reach the lava down there. Let's just grab this right here. There we go. Alright, buckets. Boom. Does the core, does the, um, the cooked one, the smooth one, does it not have the block things in the middle? Checker floor? Checker floor could be kind of cool. I do like the black stone as the floor here. I feel like the texture of it is not bad to, like, uh, look at when you're walking around. Alright, let's see what the smooth stuff looks like. Yeah, that's a lot better. I feel like that could actually be like a wall rather than the block ones. That means you have to smelt all those. Um... I think what we're going to do is just lay an outline out. And then designate different rooms, different areas and whatnot. And we'll just do it with this. Because otherwise we're going to have to get a lot of blocks and whatnot. Which I don't think we'll have enough time for this episode. But since these blocks are super easy to break, we'll just make the outline with the nether stuff. And then replace it with the actual blocks. Cords for hallways. I like that. I definitely think the smooth cords is either going to be walls or uh, like hallway floors could be pretty cool. This is too straight or too diagonal. I feel like that's big enough because it'll probably split into different rooms and stuff you should do the biggest or middle area two layers with stairs going up i mean like one of the uh like those um houses that have like the stairs that kind of wrap up and stuff like that that could be a cool idea appreciate that hydrate Yo, um, Quentin, appreciate the heart, man. All right, that should be good. This is definitely not symmetrical in any way. Let me just put a layer here so I can just, um, 
walk and do all these at the same time without having to jump down each one. Alright, I think that's good. What about another village? Village, that's actually a pretty cool idea. With like different little um, huts and whatnot. Is there any food source in another? That's actually a pretty cool idea. Basically remaking a village, but with like nether stuff. Hogla meat? Oh, the mushrooms. Yeah, we could do like mushrooms, but I don't know if we can put dirt in another, can we? Or is that not possible? You can? You can put anything in the nether, including beds. Hmm. I'm not sure about the bed part. I do have a slight confusing thing. If, because when we went to the fortress, right? And we made a platform and we were trying to get the wither skulls. The skeleton dude spawned on the nether brick. If we were to put nether brick in our house, does that mean wither skeletons are going to spawn? Or no? Or does it not work like that? What's good, Vesme? Uh, April Fools, how's it going? Going decent. I'm doing like an outline around the edge here. And then let's do one other thing. Um, let's connect. Let's connect the front of this towards where our railroad area was like a little pathway that goes in between these two. a blast furnace wait you can use the blast furnace for the uh the quartz to make smooth stone or no i thought the blast furnace was only for the ores I feel like this is this is wide enough. We'll just make the outline and then fill it in. decent um probably gonna have to get cleaned up just a little bit oh you know how we have the um what are they called the dock that's at our house in the overworld i don't know if it's possible but like making some pillars that look like uh the bottom of the dock in our overworld on this bridge part would be kind of cool too are you on twitch uh yep we're live on TikTok and Twitch. Make the bridge out of something that doesn't explode. Since it's over lava. Yeah, true. True, 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 true. 
we're just doing this as like a baseline because we're gonna need a lot of bricks or a lot of different um, blocks to be able to actually make this nether base that I don't think we have right now but for the time being we're just doing like a little outline of stuff and then we could do like a um, stairs that go up into this I think that's good. But like a little bridge area that goes to the actual base. I'm thinking... I kind of want to put like a... What is it called? I can't think of what it's called. Um, what is the name of the thing I'm thinking? Like a, like a dojo-ish top to this would be kind of cool. I feel like something like a dojo would be nice for the uh, ceiling area. Conduit? Uh, we still haven't been able to make the conduit yet. We need three more shells. So we'll be looking for the shells next episode. Yin Yang roof. Ooh. All right, so let's just look. What do we need? I'm thinking we do blackstone as the floor because I do like the floor with this stuff. I think it looks good and it doesn't blow up, which means we probably need to do the whole floor in here. At least like five or six stacks of blackstone. That's my guess. Thank you for reminding me to eat. And then the walls. Um, I don't know what we're doing for the walls yet, but we definitely need blocks for it. Uh-oh. Don't forget to put a bed so I can sleep comfortable. Noted. I'm wondering, do y'all think the ceiling should be higher than this? It should be a little bit taller. Right now it's one, two, three, four. Four blocks high. What does it look like if it's up? Five blocks. Yeah, I think five might be it. So to do like another layer on top of this, I guess we just do it with this. And it's a little bit weird putting up uh, all this stuff, knowing we're probably going to break it down just to replace it. But I feel like it'll be worth it so that way we um, don't have to spend time trying to figure out what to put or what to uh, update in certain areas is this music from a christmas map i have no idea i just put um i put a minecraft playlist on whenever i'm on the craft Yeah, I think that looks better. Uh, it's taller. All right, so we definitely need a bunch more blackstone. We definitely need something for the walls. I do like the contrast with the bricks and the quartz. So we'll probably do something with that. Maybe a black and white look. Maybe we'll make some like pillars into it or something. But I think it's a good start for now. Actually, this looks pretty cool from the front. With the, like, the nether stuff, um, a border around it, it actually looks kind of cool. But yeah, I think that's a good start for now.
Not little Timmy watching me. Just cook. Alright, let's go ahead and head back home. And then I think we'll just... I think we'll get all the blocks we need and whatnot. I don't feel like it's going to take too long to make the base in there. My guess is it's going to be like one full episode to do that. The only thing is we still have the word in episode and that's going to be within the next two or three days. So we got a couple things to pack into the next couple episodes for sure. Panda. Um, conduit. The conduit has been a struggle though. Yeah. Panda. Warden. Conduit. And I think in the nether base. I think that that's about it in this let's play. Before we end up doing the uh, modded series. The modded Minecraft series. But. To be honest, give up on the conduit. And a doghouse. Let me do something, uh, something for the animals.